YouTube, what's up guys? Courtney loves to win. Just got home, had a great day today. Now I'm about to give me a little workout on, on my tonal. I am loving this machine, guys. But anyway, I want to do a quick message today, guys. I talked to um, one of my team members uh, about about a month ago about this, and I also talked to one of my good colleagues in the in, in the industry, uh, Fred. He's out of one uh, one of the Carolina guys, and then uh, Kenneth is my one of my team members. And uh, me and Kenneth uh, was talking about a month ago. He said, Courtney, don't you know once I start working with you, I used to talk to like four or five guys. As soon as they noticed that I was working with you, they stopped calling me. And he said, you know, I asked myself, what did I do? You know, and, and at the time, you know, because I, ha I have gone through this, okay? I said, you did nothing wrong, okay? It's just that they're not meant to grow with you. And I was having this conversation, the same conversation with Fred. We was talking about two days ago and he brought it up and he said, you know, Courtney, I noticed when I started growing, a lot of guys stopped calling, you know, uh, they stopped, you know, liking my Facebook posts and stopped making comments. And I said, and he said the same thing. He said, man, ask myself, what did I do to them? You know, and again, you did absolutely nothing. So guys, I'm going to tell you, when you start to elevate, when you start to grow, you are, you, you're going to have to, you're going to lose people. You're going to lose opportunities. Okay. You, uh, you're going to lose a lot. But that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of growing is you must be willing to lose what's not going to help you elevate. Because I'm going to tell you why. I went through the same thing. Guys that I talked to, you know, call. They say, you know, the calls die down. You know, the social media interactions die down. And again, I went through that same phase. Well, what did I do to these guys? And I have to realize after studying and reading, it's that I did nothing. But this is a sign is just telling me that I'm outgrowing them, okay? But see, this is the beauty, guys. When you start to outgrow people, and it's not a, and it doesn't make that that you're better, okay, or they're bad, okay. It's just once you outgrow something, hey, it is what it is. But when you outgrow something, when you outgrow people, okay, you are now making room for the better things to come, the bigger things to come. Like for me, I use myself as, as an example. I have now, I have a, the guys I used to talk to, again. But now, I have a business partner. I can say I have a business partner. Me and a guy named Mr. Atlas out of Arizona. We talked maybe like a few months ago. And now, we, now me and him have created opportunity to help one another, build a relationship, build a friendship, okay? Because... I see now, if I would have still been trying to uh, interact with people that wasn't helping me grow, helping me grow, people who don't see value in me, just wasting time, you know, wasting time on the phone, wasting time on social media, I probably would have missed that opportunity with Mr. Atlas, okay? But now I start to see the more I grow, the more I have to let go that's not for me. OK, or that's not going to help me grow. And this is what we have to understand, guys, is that when you grow, when you start growing, you start elevating. OK, you have to leave things behind. You have to leave people behind. And this is there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. That is the that is the, the foundation of growing. OK, you have to let certain things go. So my thing is to you is that when you start to grow. In any aspect of your life, you get promoted to a new position, okay? You may start a business, okay? You might move out of a neighborhood, maybe to a better neighborhood. You might get into a better relationship, okay? Again, those things that you had once before, they no longer matter, okay? Because they helped you to a certain point, but once you get to another point where, again, you have to go a little higher, you have to leave those. You have to leave those old things behind. So people, opportunities, okay, places, you have to leave them behind. And we can't sit here and reflect on. I mean, think about it. Let's say if you you you're working a nine to five, but then you start your own business. Once your if your business is doing good and it's prosperous, are you sitting here reflecting on the job that you used to work at five years ago? No. Because it doesn't matter anymore. And that's the same thing with people. 
when we outgrow people and new people start to come into our lives that's helping us elevate okay helping us prosper people who see true value in us why are we going to sit here and worry about the people that that did none of that you know so that's the thing guys is that when you start growing you start elevating do not blame yourself do not even question yourself because again you did nothing wrong and certain things come to an end like that saying certain people in your life for a reason and certain people are in your life for a season. All right, guys, have a great night. See you in the next one.